So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 20 News Show, the best news channel ever in the history of news, and uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about a few things today. We're going to be talking about EA playtests, we're talking about an update on my A-League story that I brought out a few weeks ago, and uh, we're also going to be talking about maybe a new face coming to the game, some partnerships as well, and uh, some general stuff about the Portuguese League as well. So we've got a few interesting articles in today's news show, I hope you do enjoy it. Before we even get into the news, we have to do our 100k subscriber update. So we've got less than 8,579 to go. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe today. It'll help me get to 100k quicker. Tell a friend as well to subscribe. We're going to be having a lot of FIFA 20 news episodes, also some FIFA 19 videos as well. So if you subscribe today, you won't regret it. So let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. We're going to be talking about the EA playtest. Now, we all know that the playtests have been going on for a few months now, and they're still going on. And uh, apparently, I think the latest one is on May the 7th, so tomorrow, I think. And this is the tweet from EA Playtesting. Whenever it says the Burnaby location, we do assume that it is FIFA because that's where they make the FIFA games there. And it says play an unreleased game for 8 hours. So you get to play FIFA 20 apparently for 8 hours. That's a pretty long time though. Give your feedback and receive 3 EA games for doing it. So if you want to try that out... I'd be interested if any of you guys actually got into the playtesting program. I mean, I can't really... I, I know you guys signed probably a no, non-disclosure agreement or something, but uh, I'd love to know what it is that they're actually doing in, inside of it. But yeah, there was another one as well on May the 3rd. So once a week, I think they do these playtests. This one went for six hours. So as we speak, you know, there's playtests going on. But I reckon next month at EA Play, which should be, I think, the first week of June, we're going to see some leaked gameplay. Every year, there's always some leaked gameplay coming out of EA Play. And that's going to be the first time the public gets to really play test the game themselves. Or we might even see EA release some gameplay as well. Because this year at EA Play, they are doing things differently. They said that they're not going to do as many trailers and stuff like they usually do. They're going to have like different sections for different games where the developers talk and stuff like that. They already started something similar with Madden already, but they haven't shown gameplay. So we're either going to get some leaked footage or EA is going to release some footage as well. So I guess we'll wait another four weeks. My next bit of news is about a partnership between Ajax and EA Sports. Now, Ajax are doing really well in the Champions League at the moment, so this could be a good little partnership to have over the next few years. And um, this happened in December last year, so it's been a few months. I didn't really cover it. I forgot about it until I saw it again. Plus, I didn't have the FIFA 20 show around at the time to actually put it in an episode. But let's talk about it. So we get this tweet on the 22nd of December before Christmas, and it's from Ajax Esports, and it says, Things are getting serious. Official three-year partnership Ajax times EA Sports. Now, there is an article that we're going to take a look at that was attached with the tweet, and it says, Ajax and EA Sports sign official partnership. Ajax and EA are delighted to announce that they have signed a partnership around the EA Sports FIFA franchise for three seasons. This partnership continues the ongoing cooperation between both companies and is the first official club partnership for EA Sports FIFA in the Netherlands. One of the main aims of this partnership is to deliver unique club-specific content to Ajax fans all around the world through the different club and EA Sports FIFA channels. Fans can expect several new initiatives to be developed over the course of the partnership, starring key players from the club in combination with the EA Sports FIFA franchise. With the addition of the Champions League for our FIFA 19, there are even more opportunities to activate the partnership, as Ajax is representing the Netherlands in the last 16 in one of the most uh, prestigious football club competitions. Well, now they're in the semi-finals. Commercial director of Ajax, Menno Gielen, Two years ago, we formed our eSports department with the signing of our first FIFA ePlayer. Since that moment, our virtual domain has developed quickly to a relevant method to interact with our youngest fans. With EA, we found an important partner to support our future ambition to connect with all the FIFA players across the world. And Dirk Scholling, who is an EA employee, shares a similar vision. We are very enthusiastic about the partnership with this prominent club. In recent years, we have worked closely together around the release of our FIFA game with Ajax. With this collaboration, we are sure to be able to provide great content and experiences to fans around the globe. So it all sounds pretty good so far, but this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So FIFA News Holland um, replied to one of the tweets of the partnership and said, I spoke with someone of the Ajax marketing team and can say that Ajax have no new face scans for FIFA 20, which is a bit concerning. But then he goes on to say, they will at least add some custom faces. So we might see some new faces for some Ajax players, but they won't be scans, just sort of uh, custom, you know. And he goes, scan faces could be added in FIFA 21. So that is a prediction. There's no conclusive evidence to say that it's going to happen. But I guess, you know, if they've got a partnership, we could be seeing some scanned faces in the future as well. So I guess at least they're partners now. It does 
mean that we can be hopeful that new faces are going to be coming for Ajax in the future. Hopefully, we start seeing some in FIFA 20. This new story is going to be about the Portuguese league possibly becoming partners with EA, which can mean that we're going to be getting all the stadiums and stuff in the future. So this one was sent to me from Jorge, and he goes, Hello, my friend. In a Portuguese league magazine, they said that EA are talking with clubs and with the Liga Nos president to make this league an official partner league and with conversations with clubs for stadiums. So it sounds interesting. This is the article. It is in Portuguese, but I have translated the important paragraphs so we get the information we need. So basically, the article is talking about a bit of eSports stuff, but then it goes, the Portuguese league is in contact with EA Sports in order to be considered an official partner and to be able to allow its clubs to participate and qualify via the leagues. Now, I, I think they're talking about the eSports thing. Several meetings have been held with the clubs in order to discuss strategic aspects. Steps were also taken with EA Sports and Konami for the licensing of Portuguese races. I don't know what that means. Their stadiums, clubs, and players. So, yeah, they're even talking with Konami to get officially licensed stuff in that game as well. I think with the excuse of esports becoming bigger now, you're going to see a lot more partnerships with clubs and leagues to, you know, work with EA because clubs are now having their own esports team as well. They're signing players to the teams and they're playing FIFA as well. They're sending them to tournaments around the world to participate in FIFA competitions. The Australian League has the E-League already, and maybe that's why we're seeing an Australian scan as well now, because the E-League is doing all right. This one as well with the Portuguese League, they want to get into eSports. But anyway, this came from a magazine. I don't know if they have any insider information. Maybe they do, or they're just sending this stuff out just for attention. Who knows at the moment? I think there is a possibility because EA did partner up with Benfica recently. If you go on their website, you will see them as partners now, or if you watch my earlier news show, um, you will find the episode on that one as well. So yeah, it could happen. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities now because esports is getting bigger. They want to partner with EA. So over the next few years, you might see some really cool partnerships happen. My next news story is going to be about a new player face coming to FIFA 20. And it's not Lukaku. It's not Aguero. It's Jiong Wu Yong. Now, this guy's face was recently added into FIFA Online 4. I know they're different divisions. I know a lot of faces that go into FIFA Online do not come to FIFA 19 and stuff. I don't know why EA Sports sort of makes both games, but it is different departments. And I don't know why they just can't share the assets, you know, across different consoles. But there is a possibility that... Uh, this guy is going to be scanned anyway because he joined Bayern Munich in November 2018 and we all know that the Bundesliga scan is probably coming. Bayern Munich players recently got updated in FIFA, which means there is newer scans out there. Hopefully this guy does join the list of new faces as well in FIFA 20. Now, I reckon he got updated in FIFA Online 4 because he is South Korean and FIFA Online 4 is a FIFA game made basically for the Asian markets. And it doesn't come out every year, it comes out every few years. So there's no need to wait for the next game to put it, put out a new face or something. So yeah, that's why I think they've got the new face out already for him. But of course, there is no guarantees. Just because a new face is in FIFA Online doesn't mean we're going to get him in normal FIFA. At the moment, FIFA Online does have the custom Axel Witzel face. FIFA 19 in the console version does not have it at all. So, you know, there are a few faces that are missing between both games. But we'll see what happens. People are saying, you know, because the Bundesliga scan is coming and Bayern Munich faces got updated recently that we could see a new face for this guy. I reckon the reason why they added him in FIFA Online 4 is because that game doesn't really come out every year. That comes out every few years. So they don't have to really hold anything out for the next version. In current console versions, you can see they're holding out different faces to come out for new games so they can classify them as new features. So, you know, FIFA Online doesn't have that issue so they can just push new faces out when they need to. But also this guy is South Korean and FIFA Online is a game made for the Asian markets as well. So you'll see them update these South Korean player faces pretty regularly. Um, the Spurs player Son did get a few new faces before he even got updated in FIFA 19. So yeah, there is that kind of thing as well. There's no guarantee. Just because it's on the FIFA Online version doesn't mean it's coming to normal consoles. But we do have some uh, high hopes for it. So if you've been watching the FIFA 20 news show over the last few weeks, there was an episode where I talked about the possibility of an A-League scan. Now, the A-League scan is, of course, for the Australian League. And uh, there was a person that had a pretty good source. You know, he was um, related to someone that worked in one of the A-League clubs as, like, uh, organizational thing. I don't know. You know what I mean. They're internal employees. And uh, they reckon that EA did come and scan the A-League club. And uh, apparently, it's for the A-League scan in FIFA 20. 
I'm now told that the A-League scan is going to be going ahead and there's going to be promotional images coming out in a few months' time before FIFA 20 gets released. Uh, apparently, this guy has the photos, but I said, don't worry about it. I don't want to release anything, you know, that's not publicly out there yet because it's going to put a lot of people into trouble. But still, take it with a grain of salt. Nothing is confirmed yet until it happens with EA. We all know that EA do scan players. They don't add the faces into the game. So nothing is guaranteed until we, like, start the game in September. I think it's a possibility, though, because the A-League has been licensed with FIFA for over 10 years, and we have nothing to show for it. No Australian stadiums, no Australian player faces. I think there's, like, less than 10 in the game. The A-League is all generic besides the club kits and the uh, crests and logos and stuff. But, of course, like I said, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Nothing is confirmed until EA says something about it. But my source seems all right. I have no reason to, like, disbelieve him. But we'll see what happens with this one. So anyway, if you find any information about FIFA 20, make sure you send it to me on Twitter or Instagram. I will put them in a future episode. If you need something else to watch, make sure you click the card in the middle. It'll take you to the full playlist of the FIFA 20 news show. You can watch every episode from start to now, so you don't want to miss it. I'll see you next time.